Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Winter and if you're here for the first time I'm glad to see you today and if you're coming back I'm really glad that you have come back. Today I am doing my scripture writing message and today's scripture is Romans 12 verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. What is the meaning of this verse? The world's values, priorities, and behaviors can shape us, leading us away from God's will. We must resist the influence. Renewing our mind emphasizes the importance thinking God's thoughts, not just reacting to circumstances. How can I apply this to my life? Stay away from all the things that try to pull me out of God's will. Social media, TV, books, and people who represent the demonic side. Stay in God's word to know what his perfect will is. We live in a sad situation right now because America has gone into the toilet. They've given up on God. They've given up on Jesus, and you can see the results of what of what doing that has done. D TV is absolutely vile. It has turned vile. Even commercials have become vile. The all-over body deodorant, don't get me started. The shavers, don't get me started. What else is vile? There's no privacy anymore. There's no dignity anymore. The body has just been... There's no, there's no dignity in your human body anymore. It used to be a private thing. Things were private. Things were not mentioned outside of the home about your body. And it should still be that way, but it is not. And I, it just absolutely disgusts me when I see commercials that have no respect for the human body whatsoever. The one with the gynecologist, with the deodorant, and the girl on the table. Mmm. What are they going to do? Show it all in, a, in another year from now? Is it just going to be hanging out there for everybody to see? I mean, I'm livid about it. I really, truly am. And our children are seeing this. Our children are hearing this. I, If I turn on the TV anymore and I go to TBS or I go to any of these stations that are not ABC, CBS, or NBC during the day, you will get the F word. You will get just all kinds of disgusting dialogue that makes me want to puke. And if you have children at home, they're hearing that dialogue, which is absolutely disgusting and should make everybody want to puke. Look at what the Olympics did. Oh my word, look at what they did. They debased and defaced a portrait that was painted by whoever painted The Last Supper, I have no idea, but they tried to replicate it with their disgusting humanity that they put out there for all to be displayed, the devil isn't hiding anymore. He's not hiding. He's out in full view now. Why? Because America said, we don't need you, God. We don't want anything to do with you, God. We don't believe in you anymore, God. You know, I am so sorry for this nation. I am so sorry for anyone being born in this day and age. However, God has an appointed time for them. But every time I see a baby, that has come into this world, it just makes me cringe because this world is disgusting. And that baby, that baby is going to have to navigate through all of this disgusting human trash. And I pray that parents who are having these babies have a relationship with the Lord and are sick of seeing what is going on in this country. We're headed to hell in this country. Other countries have been persecuted for their belief systems in the Lord. It's coming here too. Persecution is on its way here too. Why? Because the devil is scared to death. He knows what his outcome is. Is He knows what his outcome is. And he's trying to put it off for as long as he can. I'm just fed up with it. If you're fed up with it, leave a comment in the comment section below. Because man, oh man, renew your mind. Get in the Word. Read the Word. Know what the Word says because the Word is alive. That is God's voice. If you don't hear from God, open your Bible. Then you will hear from God. If you have a problem that needs to be solved, open your Bible. If you have a worry, open your Bible. If you're upset about something, open your Bible. There's The answer for absolutely everything is in the Word of God. It's all there. It truly, truly is. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I have opened the Word of God and gotten solace from what I read. 
I, I love the Word of God. I love the Word of God. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing book. All right, guys, that's my message for today. I hope you got something out of it. I appreciate you watching. Leave these videos thumbs up. I don't ask that every time, but I would appreciate it if you would just do it and just leave a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day, everybody.